Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing The Amazing American Circus. This was developed by Jabla Games, it's published by Calabata and releases tomorrow for a price of $16.74. So, is it worth a purchase? We shall see. Would you like to play the prologue and tutorial? Yes, let's do it, shall we? Look at my nephew, grim as the reaper. Got some bad news, he did. He hopped on a train, cause, you see, his dad just kicked a bucket. His ma is, uh, still mourning her husband, I suppose. I'm not too happy either. Arthur and I was brothers after all. His dear, dead daddy. The owner of the miserable Jones Circus. I bet young Jones has no plans to take over. But could there be a way to change his mind? I wonder. Right, and so we take charge of our very own rundown circus and we are going to navigate this adventure. Promises tales of bizarre folklore, brutal crime, and social inequality as we battle to establish ourselves amongst the big wigs of circus land. Travel up to 90 cities. We have different ones performing in different shows. We've got press our audience, we have our tricks. Pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, press Uncle Jack while juggling. Put the umbrella up so we can't get part of the tomatoes. <laughs> We've done that, we've got a good finale. It's kind of a unique mechanic that they've gone with here so instead of um obviously like being a sort of a turn-based car combat game where instead of you know you're defeating your opposition you're impressing them to the point where they just you know sit down and enjoy the show so so what with your a little slight twist of it tutorial was simple enough if you ever played any card building games, you're going to pretty much get the gist of it pretty quickly. I'm going to go straight to Seattle. This is when the Wild West is ending and there's a lot of change in the world, so. Back on the pop 
population is only 80,000. There we go, and obviously we didn't have many uh, good meals yet, so we've been just starting out. I think they're all well fed and energized they are, the better they do. Alright, wrench begins, completing the prologue. Showman is going to be quite challenging. So, where are your employees now? Looks like it. Is this a good idea? Of course it is. Our? The old family with you. A lovely uh, beat up looking circus. Gallons we stuck our things on for artists. Have our misfit. Our unicorn finale. There we go, then we'll take a small risk. Do a little bit of uh, post of promotion. We've got impressed two miners. Got a lizard man in the middle act. He's got plus three. Ah, so you keep that on for the when you start juggling balls. Thought, I wouldn't win. <laughs> <laughs> 
play our max cards there. Obviously we lose focus if we have to shuffle our deck. Stash, so we can use that on the next one. Now he's impressed. We can unleash all our balls and impress the miner. Huge 12 off the mount. Here we go, and got our first successful show. Didn't even need to do a finale. We've unlocked two achievements in the process. We get double, double up points depending on what we did. We get booms and hoaxes depending on how we did. So we earn $564, not a bad effort. You know what? I think we'll do fine with the surf. Why would we? Your uncle was aiming big, as you can see. And then we've got things we can customize now. So we've got our artist wagon. Customize your troops. Training wagon improves their abilities. Once they level up, they can train. We can upgrade our cards that way. We can recruit new artists. Heal your artists. Manage your quirks if they've got any. issue so he's got a negative from the last one obviously you want to keep him fed and watered find yourself some misfits upgrade your wagons and here's your quest so eventually you want to collect 20 fame stars before we move to the next city achievement list nice and varied so it's not actually out yet till tomorrow. You know, you get them from I could take the list from progressing through to the various states, earning a certain amount of perk points and completing a certain acts. So overall, really sort of different game here. It's more of a focus on, you know, managing your, your artists and you know making sure that they're you know, prepared to perform. You know, it's an interesting take on the combat where, you know, you're not killing your opposition, you're impressing them to the point where they, you know, sit down on the floor. You know, you do have boss fights and rival companies that you come up against. So, you know, if you like this sort of game and you put the time into it, you're definitely going to be rewarded with this one. So, you know, if you're a fan of this style of game, it's definitely a purchase. Um, if not, someone who's more of a casual player, you know, you're probably going to be able to miss. But overall, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos.